IntelliJ IDEA 16 has some really clever new inspections. Let me show you how these work. If you're using Java 8, then you're probably already familiar with lambdas, and lambdas are just a shorter way of writing anonymous inner classes. And if you're using lambdas, then you probably know that there's different ways to express them. So there's statement lambdas, there's expression lambdas, sometimes the type is optional, and there's things called method references. So IntelliJ IDEA will help you refactor your code to the most compact expression of this lambda syntax given the surrounding context. So for example, you can replace the anonymous inner class with lambdas and so forth. And this has been available for quite some time. What you may not know is that sometimes you can take a method reference and replace it with a qualifier if it's pointing to the one method inside of a functional interface. So if it implements the functional interface and it calls this method, then you don't need to do anything else. You can just pass this in directly as a qualifier. And this is basically the most succinct version of the Java 8 Lambda. So in IntelliJ IDEA 16, we've added an inspection to detect those scenarios where you can do this and you can just press the intention action and it'll replace that for you. We've also added a few other inspections to detect issues with lambdas and method references. So for example, if you're directly calling the one method for a functional interface, then you might as well just replace that with the lambda body. A new data structure in Java 8 is this thing called optional. A lot of the time in Java you have this ceremony where you're checking if something is not null and then you're reading from it. But what a lot of people don't realize is that optional doesn't get rid of this ceremony. It just kind of changes how you use it. So you can't just write optional.get because you need to check to see if it's present first. And then you can do the get. But it's really meant to be used with lambdas. So you can get around this problem by just using optional if present and then passing in some consumer. Prior to Java 8, a lot of this stuff was only available through a popular library called Guava. And now that Java 8 supports a lot of these functional primitives, you can start migrating away from Guava to use them directly in Java 8. And IntelliJ IDEA 16 gives you inspections to be able to do that. So for example, optional in Guava can be replaced with the Java 8 optional. And Guava had this thing called Fluent Iterable, which is basically a Java 8 stream. And so a lot of these things are just drop-in replacements, and IntelliJ IDEA can help you refactor this very easily. IntelliJ IDEA 16 now has inspections for detecting concurrency issues, specifically related to JSR 305 and the Java X concurrency annotations. So the spec defines these annotations, for example, guarded by and you pass in an argument that defines which object holds the lock for this particular field. And if it's accessed from outside a scope that holds that lock, then it's unsafe. So we report an inspection, unguarded field access. IntelliJ IDEA has inspections to help constrict the access modifier for a class or a variable or something. So for example, here, this class isn't used outside the package. And so it's a little bit broader than it needs to be. So we can make this package local, and it'll detect instances where that access modifier can be made more narrow without affecting any of the couplings. Finally, we've refined the inspection that detects duplicate code. So for example, if you generate some code, and if that generated code matches an existing method, then we don't automatically report a duplicate. However, if you're duplicating code that you wrote, then we understand the difference between that. And then what happens here is that we'll only mark those handwritten sources with a squiggly line indicating that this is a duplicate. And then you can navigate to nearby duplicates like this or view them in a list. This feature is available from code generated by IntelliJ IDEA as well as code that's generated by other libraries and frameworks as long as the sources are marked as generated. So those are just a few new inspections that are available in IntelliJ IDEA 16. To learn more, give it a try today and let us know what you think.